Oh, this is where Tracy is late to rest. Tracy, I finally made it to your resting place. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are in Brownstone, St. Anne. Today is the 8th of December. Today this beautiful little girl would have been 16 years old. But she's laid here resting. We're talking about Tracy Ann Ricketts, the little 14 year old girl at the time that suffered from osteosarcoma, the dreaded disease that claimed her life. Myself and King Yellowman, and of course, Sean Prendigas from the Rudolph Prendigas Foundation Incorporated. We pour our heart out and our soul for the government to help this little girl. Somehow she did not make it. So here we are today on her birthday. I personally decided to come here and to pay my respect because I couldn't get to make the funeral with little Tracy. Well, at least she's resting now. No more crying, no more pain as you've seen in the videos. And we just want to take this time out and thank everyone that helped the family, the Ricketts family, that helped little Tracy on her journey. And what a remarkable journey that was. My friend George Pang from Powerhouse Record Label cried when he saw the video. Cried when he saw little Tracy Ann crying and saying, Daddy, she can't take it no more. She can't stand the pain no more. Well, there's no more pain for Tracy. She's relaxing and she's up there with the Almighty. The journey continues as we have the tiling of the grave of little Tracy Ann Ricketts. Tommy, come over here, Tommy. This is Tommy Stone right here. This is Tommy. Now Tommy was the person that was responsible for making this grave. Yes. Fixing all the tiling. Tell us a little bit about Tracy. What do you know of Tracy? Well, uh, she was like a nice girl, you know. Mm -hmm. um, quiet and you know, thing. Stuff like that. So when did you learn of her passing? How did you feel to know that? Well, I always feel so down when she passed and things. Trust me. At the time. Trust me. Understand? Well, I couldn't get to make the funeral, but I had to be here today and I told Trace. I said, Trace, please just let me know when you're, you're going to do the tomb. tiling of the grave. The tomb, she's already tomb, so it's just the refurbishing and the tiling of the grave and to make it a lot more presentable. So this is the man, Tommy. Yes. We're going to be following the process from start to finish. Cause we're not leaving here until the last tile is on. And we're going to show to the world where our little queen is resting. The journey continues with the tiling of little Tracy and Ricketts. Stay tuned. There's Tommy the Tiler. Tommy the Tiler.
Ladies and gentlemen, here we are, the 8th of December. As you know, today's little Tracy Ann's would have been 16th birthday. And um, it's an honor for me to be able to do something in preparing for the tiling of her tomb. And um, it's an honor. I'm here in Lawrence Park, Brownstown, St. Anne, celebrating still the life of Tracy Ann Ricketts. Thunder! Ladies and gentlemen, today is the sweet 16th birthday party of Tracy Ann Ricketts. I'm here all the way from Kingston along with my friend Philip. And I said to myself, this day, the day that the tile or tomb could not miss me. I didn't get a chance to make the funeral. But guess what? I had to come here today and pay my respect. Now we have to big up Squaddy and we have to big up Black. Because they're doing a remarkable job getting this food together and we're gonna just rock wet. Because guess what? Today is a memorable day. King Yellow Man could not be here today, ladies and gentlemen. 
but he's taking this opportunity to wish the family well. George Pang from Powerhouse Records could not be here today, ladies and gentlemen. So we're taking the opportunity to wish Tracy Ann Ricketts, if she was here on earth, a very happy and pleasant birthday. But guess what? She's up there in Zion, and we know she's looking down on us because she knows we love her. She knows we care for her. Sean Prendigas, I know you wish she was here, Sean. But guess what? I represent the Rudolph Prendigas Foundation, and I bring love from Sean Prendigas because Sean have this undying love and respect for Tracy. The journey continues at the tiling of Tracy Ann Ricketts, December 8th, on her birthday. <laughs> Eat your heart out, the full tune done. Mm -hmm. nah, go on, no, no. None. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joyce. She's a family friend. And of course, today is the day that we pay our respect because I didn't get a chance to be at the funeral. Joyce, how are you doing today? I know it's a bit of sweet day. You know, it's a very sad day, but um, you know, just trying to make the best of it. Yeah, I'm glad I'm here for our birthday and um, for this filming match. And you know, we have to just let carry on with life. Life has to go on. And of course, she's beside her husband, Calvin. Yeah. Calvin, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Well, I noticed you found your way all the way to the pot. <laughs> the pot is on the fire, pot Calvin. The fire. Yeah. Yes, and we can't wait. That's right. Enough That's love. Right. And of course, members of the community. What's your name there? Cora. Cora. And what is your name? My name is Catherine. Catherine. And Daddy? Simpson. Mr. Simpson. So, family. I know it's a family. I was only kidding there. They know, man. I'm here to have fun, I'm all the way from Kingston and um, I love this little girl, you know, in life. So I'm here to pay my respect even as we celebrate her 16th birthday. So I'm very unhappy I have to meet you under these circumstances, but I'm here. Yes. The journey continues. Tracy Ann Ricketts. I'm the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We're getting right along. Mrs. Ricketts, how are you doing? Thank you, Granny. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the mother of Tracy Ann Ricketts. We're here celebrating, of course, her sweet 16th birthday. And we promised that we had to be here. Yellow man send his love to you. But like I said, you know, today's a very special day for, for us to be here to celebrate the life still of this beautiful little girl that has changed a lot of lives across the world. What she did for me, she taught me strength because Tracy was such a very strong little girl. I remember coming in contact with that video of her saying that daddy, she can't stand the pain. I know I couldn't stand the pain because if I get a toothache, I'm here bawling down the place at age 64, but she was just a tower of strength and she she was there and the family was there and Stacy, how are you today? Well, you know, it's bittersweet. I know it's bittersweet. And that's why we're here to support you. I think they're doing a remarkable job. And um, we'll get a chance to see the finishing touch later on today. And of course, the pot is on the fire. Hmm. <laughs> that is when we come for two. Hmm. Know, nobody knows I me. Mean, eaty, eaty, but the pot is on the fire. <laughs> and I can't wait because Quaddy and Blacks up there are doing a remarkable job, and Joyce and everybody else. So the journey continues. We're here at Lawrence Park, Brownstone, St. Anne, at the Sweet 16th party and tiling of our Queen. Tracy Ann Ricketts. The journey continues. Go. Big stone, big stone in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say I feel so uh, elated to know that I had to meet my friend Maureen under these circumstances. Today, Tracy Ann Ricketts celebrates her 16th birthday. And it's a bittersweet moment for me. But I give thanks. I wasn't able to make the funeral. But I'm here 
And I feel so welcome. Thank you so much, Marie. Pat the on the fire, you know? Yes, I know. Wow, wow, folks. Fish and wow. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to find out how I'm going to find out how I'm going to talk with you more. All right. Thank you very much. I feel so welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome, man. Thank you. And thanks for Eat your heart out, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> Time is now 7.21 p.m. Today is December 8th and we're here celebrating the life of Tracy Ann Ricketts. She turned 16 years old today and I'm here with her father Tracy Ricketts. We had a splendid day today because today is when we put the tiling on the tomb for little Tracy Ann. As you know Tracy Ann died on June 21st 2021 after battling an aggressive cancer known as osteosarcoma i want to take this time out and big up king yellow man but today as we are here and we came here from about 8 30 this morning but guess what the work has to be done tommy is doing a remarkable job with squatty and of course mark is doing a remarkable job helping with everything that we do today here we have in front of me two wreaths and i have to bring this to the world because i want to know where these two wreaths came from the wreath on my left came from the rudolph prendigas foundation the wreath is it on my right came from pastor anderson on behalf of the grace mount zion church presented on the behalf of joyce williams you see, Tracy means so much to us. I personally didn't get a chance to be at the funeral. So when Trace Ricketts invited me to come all the way down here to Lawrence Park to celebrate the 16th birthday of Tracy Ann Ricketts, I seized the opportunity because she means a whole lot to me. And I have to say this because even though she celebrates her 16th birthday, and I know she's resting in Zion, but Tracy Ann Ricketts could have been here with us today. We in Jamaica have to start loving each other some more if we're put in an authority to lead and to serve the people. Then the citizens of this country means a whole lot. No child must be left behind. Tracy and Ricketts has taught me so much things. She taught me strength. She taught me endurance. She taught me an old man, a 64 year old, how to sustain pain. This little girl is a shining example to my life. I will never forget her. I want to say this on behalf of Sean Prendergast from the Rule of Prendergast Foundation. And of course, Tracy, you know, Shakur was supposed to be here today to make this presentation on behalf of the Rudolph Prendergast Foundation. And Sean said to me, he said, Big Stone, I want you to say this. And I'm repeating and I'm quoting Sean Prendergast. He said, people who should have done better for this little girl, giving her a chance at life because her family gave her all the chances in the world Trace work hard, Stacy work hard, tirelessly day in from down here, Lawrence Park to Kingston and back and forth and back 
and medication and all that came with it. They did everything that they had to do to save the little girl's life. But as Trace as a Christian would say, God knows best. And we mourned the last tremendously. King Yellowman, myself, George Pang, mourned the last of this beautiful little son. I wish you was here with us. Trace. Gentlemen, the time is about 8 o'clock now. And to my left is a read that was presented by the ruler of Prendergast Foundation. And to my right, the pastor of the church that was given by Joyce Williams to Tracy and Ricketts. We didn't get a chance to place it on the grave because we're not yet completed with all the works. But I'm here with the mother and father of little Tracy Ann Ricketts as we celebrate December 8th, her 16th birthday. She should have been here with us. That's all I'm saying. And I will forever say that. Tracy Ann Ricketts should have been here with us. Trace, what do you have to say now on your daughter's sweet 16th birthday? She's not here with us. Uh, I want to give God thanks for all that he has done. Despite of all, give me God thanks. God knows all things best. Trey Trey, we love you. It's your birthday, 16th birthday. I just thank God for the 15 years that you have spent with us. We love you. I wish you would be here with us, but God know all things this. I just want to say thank you to Pastor Anderson, Mr. Williams, the Sean Pentecostal Foundation, Big Stone, Yellow Man. I want to say thank you to all those who donate towards Tracy and medication, whatever. No. Without you guys, we we wouldn't make it without the help of God, because God put it in your heart to help us, and that is the greatest. God bless you all, and we have to remember other children out there who suffer from similar cancer. They need your help also. They need our help in prayer, in kindness, in whatever way we can help. I don't want to say this to the church, our church, the whole church in Jamaica. We all pray in Canada, America, England, all over Jamaica. We all pray. You all donate. I want to say thank you. I can't call all, all names, but I thank you all. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Well, and right now, it's a bittersweet moment for me, but I just, I'm just grateful because through it all, God is the one with the plan. And uh, because of that, I have to be grateful. Tonight, I just want to thank Big Stone. I really, I really appreciate his effort for being here with thank us. You. And um, King Yellowman, Sean Prendigas, and all of those who helped us. And Westwood, Westwood school, the old girls, and Miss um, the principal and all the rest of people, um, corporate Jamaica, people from all around the world. Tracy and me just be here for 50 years, but you know she have touched so many lives, and she's such a special child, and she'll always be in our hearts. We miss her, but God knows everything. I wouldn't want anything, um, this um, osteosarcoma, I wouldn't want 
no other child to experience it. And I just want to say to even the government of Jamaica here, if even one facility, just, you know, make one of them possible to help not just the children, but the nation of Jamaica to help to fight this dreaded disease. I just want to say thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I am <coughs> actually saddened. Beautiful words spoken by the Ricketts family. Trace Ricketts and of course Stacy Ricketts. And the family not being selfish, but the family saying let's use Whatever happened to Tracy and wasn't done, let's use Tracy Ann Ricketts' life to make it right. Please, if it's even one institution to treat osteosarcoma, an aggressive disease that moved rapidly in six months, it went from a size of a rice grain to a football and Tracy stood it all. Oh, she taught me strength. She taught me perseverance. She's the poster child of suffering. So let's use her memory on her 16th birthday, December 8th, to remember this beautiful little girl who came, who saw, and she conquered. Thank you so much for watching. Oh!